What's up guys? I'm going to start this video out with a tip. Well, I spooled up Shimano and Fluga Reel, my soccer pole. Uh, I, I just grabbed some lawn. I didn't even look at the poundage or anything like that. It was 12 pounds. And usually I soak it in hot water before I spool it up so it doesn't twist and mess up and get knotted up on my lawn. Well, I didn't. And there's a reason why I do what I do is because now it's been giving me a lot of headaches. So before I go out here and I go try to fish again today with Shauna's in a jig at Twin Canals, I'm going to re-spool it, but I'm going to show you how I do all this stuff. See, this is the kind of mess that I deal with when I don't soak this stuff in hot water. This is the mess. First, I fill a bowl of water. Put it in for a minute 30, let it go. Then, I'm gonna take this line, this suffix Pro Mix 8 pound clear, and I'm gonna stick it in there and leave it in there for like a minute to let it get loose and everything. Then I'm gonna tie it to my reel, and then I'm gonna spool it up. That causes me not to have knots when I throw out my line, like the 12 pound that I didn't do. If I'd have done it the way I usually do it, then I wouldn't have had that issue. But I didn't because I was being lazy, and being lazy gets you nowhere. So I'm gonna put this guy up on there, and first time I'm gonna be using this line, I usually use the siege, but we'll see. Suffix makes good line, so should be do fine. Yep, so I got it in there soaking right now. I do this with monofilament and fluorocarbon. I don't do it with braid because you don't need it. So I only do it with fluorocarbon and monofilament. So because it likes to twist up if you don't do it. That's why if you ever get like a reel from Walmart or something like that, that's why it kind of spins all over and gets aggravated and it gets all tangled up. Another way you can do it is to spool your reel on put the arbor in there and just let the arbor sit. The problem with that is, is you don't get a tight wrap around your reel. And I believe that that causes it to make twists and everything else. So usually I like to do it. I put the line in there and let it soak. Then I tie it to my reel. And then I have hitch it a few times on the reel so it don't slip. I tie it just like an improved clinch knot to the reel and then I half hitch it like two or three times. It never messes up for me when I do this. I might get like one little twist, but not nearly as much as I got on the other piece of crap, so. All right, I got my knot tied to here. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I take the line in my hand, going toward the tip of the rod, I make a circle where the top side of the line's on the bottom line. And then I put it around the arbor like this and I cinch it down to get a nice tight hole and I do that a few more times to make a loop like that the reason I do that is because I don't want it slipping I tied the regular knot and it's down on it and then I do like three half hitches and that's what I like to do it's just my preference and what I like to do but I do recommend that you soak it in hot water so it doesn't twist up and everything else because believe me, you just want to fish and not be aggravated. Another thing I do is I hold the line with my finger like this to make sure I got enough pressure and I just leave the spool down on the table or whatever. And I spool it up just like that. That's what we're looking like right there. Now I'm ready to go fishing. Sorry if I was being too quiet, guys. But I was trying to be quiet because my wife's sleeping. And you don't wake up the beast when it's slumbering. You just don't do that. You don't wake a woman up out of a sleep. Oh, man. you catch hell and a half for some stuff like that. But, yeah, I'm about to head down to Twin Canals. And uh, see if we can do anything. Caught a couple sock lay yesterday. Caught some goggle eye. Uh, missed a nice shoe pick I believe it looked like a shoe pick 
he jumped out the water and he was kind of long and skinny so either it was a long skinny bass or shoe pick all these the water's like a tea color in there so it's like really clear and dark water it's not dirty at all that's why them sock legs were so pretty they had like a gold hue on them and everything it was beautiful I got me some live shiners I'm gonna throw the jig hopefully we can get them Three. See if I can land this damn thing. Loosen his drag up before he freaks out when he sees me. If I'd have took the hook out, he'd have been going right now. Oh! Oh! Fuck! Oh. Oh. Well, that sucks. I was going to try to show him to y'all. He just broke off right there. Took my only worm I have, I think. Took my damn hook. Damn, man. 
Lesson here, bring your damn grips to lip the fish. I can't lip that fish because he's got teeth. I didn't feel like going in the water to try to get him. So he got away. Damn, man. Not particularly happy right now. It really pisses me off when stuff like that happens. I ain't got nobody to blame but myself though. I only brought one worm and it was just happened to be in my tackle box. I ain't getting nothing on a jig, nothing on a shana. Second or third cast with a worm, fella, boom, boom, set the hook on him. It was a nice bow fin. I was gonna let him go anyway. I just wanted to show it to everybody, you know? But that's how it is. Can't catch them all. Well, how lucky can you be? I only have one worm left. <laughs> I just found another one digging in the tackle box. I took all my worms and everything out the other day because I was just going soccer fishing, no point to carry, stuff like that. But it's another little learning experience for me is to make sure I always pack something just in case my initial thing doesn't work out. I was back here at one point in time and behind me, all that had giant swirls of bait and big giant bass just hitting it. I didn't have anything to throw at a bass. All I had was crappy jigs. Pretty much like today. But I only see a few bass hitting. But I'm gonna throw it out. I'm gonna throw this one out there. Maybe we hook something. We'll see. Well, that was the only fish I hooked been out here for a little while not too too long but they ain't doing nothing on the shiners nothing on the jigs I had the only bite I had was on that worm and uh, he got off so I think uh, I'm gonna try out here later I might bring my kid out here maybe get some worms or some crickets or something and uh, try to catch some perch so he have a good, little good time you know well thank y'all for watching make sure y'all subscribe to my channel Helps me out. Make sure you like, comment. If y'all want to see me do anything or show any knowledge or anything about anything, then uh, hit me up in the comment section and uh, let me know. Y'all have a good day. Later.